it is Angie here. For today's video, we are going to create these beautiful minimalistic line art canvases. And we are going to be using all Dollar Tree products. So it is very affordable and it looks super bougie on a budget. So the items we are going to need are these large canvases from the Dollar Tree. We will also be needing some paint brushes. Dollar Tree has lots of paint brushes options. So there is a lot to choose from. We are going to need some painter's tape and the acrylic colors of your choice. So these are acrylic paints. I am choosing these black, pink, and white colors. And we are also going to need a pencil. And I totally forgot to mention this, but very important, we will need a Sharpie or a black marker. So we are going to start off by just putting painter's tape all around our canvas and this is just to create a little border around our canvas so it looks a little bit more neat. So just go all the way around. Next I am creating a rectangle with my tape and it doesn't have to be perfect so I just eyeballed it but basically what we're going to do is we're going to create some shapes so I made this rectangle with the tape and I am taking my black acrylic paint and mixing in some white. So I wanted to do a light gray color for my rectangle. So I'm just going to mix that up and fill in my rectangle. So if you guys have seen these type of paintings before, it's really just a bunch of random shapes on there so you can create any shape you want it doesn't have to be perfect I wanted to do a rectangle and I am also going to do a half circle as you will see and my half circle I am mixing in this pink with my white and gray that I already have so I do want to create like a mauve pink color so that's how I got that mauve pink I just mixed in the white a little bit of pink a little bit of gray just play with the colors and see what shade you like you can be as creative as you want this is a very fun project for me it was very relaxing so I definitely recommend and also these paintings are really really expensive I've seen them at the stores and they're not even paints like they're just a printout of it and they're still very expensive so you can have fun with it if you have kids you can also make some paintings with your kids super fun I'm just filling in my half circle here and you want to make sure to do a nice thick layer of paint for it because once it dries it's a lot of it is going to be saturated I'm not sure if that's the right word but basically it's gonna settle down it's gonna dry really really quick so I did leave this overnight to dry and last minute I just decided to do a circle just a little random circle there dark gray and once it is dry we are going to remove the tape from the rectangle and start with our line art so I found this one on Pinterest there's a lot of gray options on Pinterest so whatever you like just freehand it if you are not that artistic don't worry about it that's why we're using a pencil so you can erase any mistakes that you have So fun fact, I did take an art class in high school, I remember as an elective, and it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it, and not to brag, but my little art pieces are always on the wall for being at the top, so I still got it. And once I am happy with what it looks like, I am going to take my Sharpie and just go over my line. And 
you can make the lines as thick as you want I just wanted to do one single line through it so that's why I tried to connect them so it did take a little while I did try to be very precise with it so just take your time Once I am done outlining it with my Sharpie, I am just going in with my eraser just to erase any visible pencil marks. So this is just an extra step. It wasn't that noticeable, but I just went in and tried to erase as much as I could. And then we are going to remove our painter's tape. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty, you guys. I love it. And we are going to do a different line art on the second one. So this is the final product. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you guys try it out, post pictures of it. I love to see your guys' feedback, if you guys try my projects, my DIYs. And you guys can either hang them up on your wall or I put this on my shelves with my little plant. Super cute. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.